Today I'm going to continue on the whole issue of the secrets of spiritual fitness. And yesterday I started looking at spiritual fitness basics. Today I'm going to conclude uh, that aspect. So uh, it's no time for me to have a word of prayer before I continue. Uh, thank you, Father, once again for blessing us and even giving us an understanding or opening our eyes relative to the whole issue of spiritual fitness. Uh, be with me now and be with us as we uh, delve into this topic once again. In Jesus' name, amen. So, let me give you an analogy of physical fitness or the way of physical fitness helps. What do you do when you get serious about exercising? You examine your current state. You consider what needs most attention. You adopt a training program that will address the concerns. You work out a schedule. You plan a routine. You decide on when, where, how, what, and with whom. You already know why. Emotionally healthy spirituality is about reality, not denial or illusion. So once you start thinking about things spiritually, it's not so different, is it? You do not need to think about it, though. It's not something you can just shut away and forget. In the same way, you can't ignore physical fitness. You need to be as objective as you possibly can and then start following whatever plan you have decided on. Others can help here too. Just like a fitness trainer. Just like a fitness trainer. Sometimes you don't really know what's wrong or what to do. So you consult someone who can help. And all this has to be translated into action. You need to do some practical things. In the same way as buying a gym membership doesn't make you fit, so too having a great plan doesn't make you spiritually fit. Then you program, your program has to be fitted into your day-to-day -day life. And that's one of the big problems. We just don't integrate spiritual realities into our daily life. We don't see how our spiritual nature is involved with how we are living. And that's greatly to our detriment. Our spirituality is very weakly tied to the realities of our daily experience. We tend to become a dualistic spiritual life on one side and the rest of life on the other. I believe this is because we have not realized how deeply our spiritual life and growth into wholeness, that's genuine spirituality, is interwoven with the dynamics of our being and doing. Now, these are the basics. One, to recognize that spirituality is important to us, that we want to grow spiritually, and that we are going to make this a life priority. Uh, this means setting aside time to do this. You don't become physically fit overnight, and the same principle applies to the spiritual world. In the same way that five minutes of physical exercise doesn't cut it, neither does five minutes of spiritual exercise. This is basic, but essential. The importance of spiritual fitness and how it is developed is going to be studied. But for the moment, let's stay with the fundamental principles. What you consider is important to you, what you are going to choose, and what you are doing about it. Now, A, I believe it's important to develop my spiritual side. I recognize that I am unfit spiritually. It's clear I need to do something. B. I choose to become spiritually fit. I know this means some hard work, but just like physical exercise. But this is what I want to do. C. I am now working to do this. 
I am not deciding to do it later. Like physical exercise, I am not saying it will work out next week. It starts now. In fact, it starts now as you continue into looking at the topic. Now, having made that commitment, I must keep going. So these are some of the basics that we need to look at. I'm going to stop here. Uh, for, the, for the time being, there are some other considerations that we must look at when we speak about the spiritual fitness basics. So today I'm going to cut up and conclude the physical, uh, the spiritual fitness basics tomorrow. So we just want to thank God that we are getting more and more into the spiritual fitness basics and what is required. And as we go from day to day, we are going to be determined by God's grace that physical fitness being important would not be considered more important than spiritual fitness because our spirituality is what is going to take us through at the end of the day. You can be as physically fit as much as you want, but if you do not have that spiritual fitness, you are not going to make it. Once more, dear Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us information relative to our spiritual fitness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.